Hello friends, this video sets part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched sets part 1 to part 10. Intersection of sets. The intersection of set A and B is set of all elements which are common to A and B. And this is denoted by a symbol this. So when I say a union B, if you remember this is AND. A union B is X where X is member of A and X is member of B. Remember in case of union, when I said A union B, it was X where X is member of A or X is member of B. In case of union it was OR and in case of intersection it is AND. When I say intersection, it is AND. So we will take an example. We will take an example wherein uh, set A is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8 and set B is equal to 6, 8, 10, 12. So we have to say A intersection B. To do this we have to find the common elements. So the common element is 2 common here in this? No. Is 4 common? No. Is 6 common? Yes. Is 8 common? Yes. So these are the only two common elements. You need not go for this set because if this is not here, it is not here also. So 6 and 8 are only common elements. So we will say A intersection B is equal to 6 comma 8. To draw using Venn diagram also, we as we have learned in the past, first we have to find the common element. So common element is 6 and 8. And then we will write the other elements 2, 4 and here 10, 12. So the area in blue is A intersection B is the common element. So it is AND. Elements which are a part of A and which are part of B that is 6 and 8. When you say A union B that is element which are part of A or element which are part of B. So that is this whole set or this whole set. So when you say A union B you get a bigger set. But when you say A intersection B you get a smaller set. Please remember A intersection you see this guy is the intersecting and you are getting the common point that is A intersection B. And when you are saying A union B, you are taking the whole set, the bigger set. I will give you one more example. If there are two sets which are not intersecting, for example A is this and B is this. In throw of con, die, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we say A is all even. That is 2, 4, 6. And B is all odd. That is 1, 3, 5. So both are not intersecting. So we'll say A is B is 1, 3, 5 and A is 2, 4, 6. This guy is B, this guy is A and this guy is B. Right? Now, when you say A intersection B in this case, do you see these guys are intersecting? No, they are not intersecting. There is no common element. So A intersection B is 5. But when I say A union B, I want all the elements which are there in either in A or in B. So here A union B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You got the difference between A intersection B and A union B. In A union B we consider all the elements which are part of A or which are part of B. When we say A intersection B, we take all the common elements only which are part of A and which are part of B. We'll do one more example here where we want to find the intersection of set. So for intersection we say all the common element. So first find its common element. So 2 is in set A. Is 2 in set B? Yes. 4 is in set A. Is 4 in set B? No. 6 is in set A. Is 6 in set B? No. 8 is in set A. Is in set B? No. So 2 is the only common element between set A and B. So when I say A intersection B, the answer is similarly for this set we want to try a union b just to clear our concept between the intersection and union so we'll write all the elements between first in a and then we'll write elements in b removing the common elements for example one one is there here no two two is already here so we'll not write this three is here no five is in the set current set no seven and nine so this is a union b and this is a intersection b 
to do the same question using venn diagram what we can do is let me create a venn diagram big venn diagram sorry for my bad handwriting the bad drawing so 2 is a common element so we know that these sets are intersecting so we'll create a set intersecting set so now we'll first say 2 here because common element a this is a and this is b will name the set and a will have other elements called 4 6 8 and b will have other elements called 1 2 the already taken 3 5 7 9 so when i say a intersection b i am looking for this area so the answer is 2 when i say a union b i am looking for the whole area including this 2 1 this one so my answer is the whole big set that is 4 6 8 2 1 3 5 7 9 if we see this this and this set is same because we have already learned that in roster form the order doesn't matter so we'll try to compare first 2 is here 2 is here 4 is here 4 is here 6 and 8 are here 6 and 8 are here 1 3 5 7 it is here 1 3 5 7 8 is here So you see both the elements are in both the sets A union B elements are common so the sets are equal the joint sets if A and B are two sets such that A intersection B is phi there is no element common then they are called the joint sets for example if A is having 2 4 6 8 and B is having 1 3 5 7 7 we see that there is no common element and thus they are called the joint sets that it can be represented by a venn diagram below like this as already discussed if there is no common element between a and b there is no intersection and that's why they the both the sets are separated and such so it is called disjoint set properties of intersection we have discussed intersection now we are discussing properties of intersection commutative law holds true here also a intersection b is equal to b intersection a we can prove using venn diagram this is a this is b this is a this is b so when i say a intersection b you get this when i say b intersection a you get this so both the area is same that means b intersection a is equal to a intersection b we can do this by taking some example also where let's suppose a is 1 2 3 and b is 2 4 6 Now you see when you say a intersection b, you find common element in a and b that is two. So a intersection b is equal to two. When I say b intersection a, you find common element in b and a, and what you get is two. So both are same. Similarly, associative law also holds true for intersection. When you say a intersection b intersection c, or a intersection b intersection c, both are same. Similarly, when you do an intersection between phi element, zero element, and a, what you get is phi. And when you do an intersection between union, the uh, complement, and a, what you get is a. Remember, in case of union, it was different. In case of union, a union phi was a because we are taking common element, and union the uh, the universal set union a was universal set. because we are taking the common element now in case of intersection it's other way around when i say phi intersection a we are taking common element and the common element is zero set and some value set is zero set so you get zero set also when you say universal set intersection a the common element is all, all uh, obviously a set so you get a please remember this wrong in case of union it was A union phi was A in case of intersection. A union A intersection phi is phi, and in case of union 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 A sorry universal union A was A, and here universal intersection A is in case of intersection universal intersection A is A in case of union universal union A was union. Please remember these points. this law independent law in important law is same in in case of union also we had a union a was a 
an intersection also a is near a is a because the common plane between a is a and a is a and the intersection of a union a is also a similarly distributive law when you say a union b intersections you pay a intersection b union c this guy is similar to a intersection b union a intersection c you see a intersection b union a intersection c so this is called distributive law and this distributes over union thank you visit examfa.com to watch free educational videos try free online test get the best quality study material study from the best tutor and mentors and much more thanks once again